Good morning and welcome to today's Ho'onko service. We will begin today's service with opening meditation. If you could please join me in Gashō. How joyous I am, Gutoku Shinan, disciple of Shakamuni, rare is it to come upon the sacred scriptures from the westward land of India and the commentaries of the masters of China and Japan, but now I have been able to encounter them. Rare is it to hear them, but already I have been able to hear, reverently entrusting myself to the teaching, practice, and realization that are the true essence of the Pure Land Way. I am especially aware of the profundity of the Tathagata's benevolence. Here I rejoice in what I have heard and extol what I have attained. Nam Wami Dotsu. 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 We'll continue today's service with the chanting of the three treasures. Fortunate is it to be born into human life. Now we are living it. Rare is it to encounter the teachings of the Buddha. Now we hear it. If we do not seek the truth of the Dharma in this life, in what life shall we find it? Let us reverently take refuge in the three treasures of the truth. I take refuge in Buddha. May we all together absorb into ourselves the principle of the way to enlightenment and awaken within us our highest aspiration. I take refuge in Dharma. May we all together be submerged in the depth of the Dharma and gain wisdom as deep as the ocean. I take refuge in Sangha. May we all together become units in true accord in a life of harmony and a spirit of universal brotherhood freed from the bondage of selfishness. Even through ages of myriad of kalpas, hard is it to hear such an excellent, profound, and wonderful teaching. Now we are able to hear and receive it. Let us thoroughly understand the true meaning of the Tagata's teaching. Namu Amida Utsu. 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 So today is Ho'onko, uh, where we're celebrating uh, the founder of our school of Jodo Shinshu, Shinnan Shonin. And uh, so because of that, we'll be chanting Shoshinge, which uh, he wrote. Shinjin Ten, 
ひにょにこうむうむうむしげみょうむあん逆人謙虚大狂気即応超絶暴悪衆一切全幕ボンブに問診療内偶然が仏言広大証言者ゼニミョーフンダリケミラ仏音元年仏邪剣教満なく修行神行十字人に難難中死難無価死インド祭典死論芸中華自力非奏書県内証拠聖書医妙妙来本税を記釈迦如来両河線一周五妙南伝寺流獣大寺修道生質の在派無権戦絶大乗無常召喚疑似小安な賢治南行六の句、新行異行四郎な、奥根未来仏音が、次年即時入一上、由意の上昇如来を、大大偶然音、天神菩薩造論説、月妙無下古如来、平州たら献身実、王戦王朝大聖願、こういう本願力栄光、色軍情昇一心、記入苦毒大王害、逸逆入大英州州、特使連芸造成会、即昇新女王昇人、有本農林現人図、優勝、自由、自由、芸。本心、どんな、両天使。上皇、乱所、暴卒内。三蔵、入試、十条教。本所、専業、気楽、法。天神、暴卒、論中、芸。報道、因果、建制、岩。大言、猫、ゆたに、気少女、死因、優心人。僕前、文部、新人、坊、少子、少子、即年半、医師、無料、巧妙、道、少不、修正、改付、権、道者、継承、道南、少、有名、浄土、活入、万全、人力、変言、修、円満、特合、感染症、三仏三神、慶音、言、造末、応滅、道因、一生、増、地、偶然、死、安、尿、害、消、妙、化。全道、独、妙、仏、消、因、怖い、上、三、妙、逆、愛、一年総合、用意大統逆三人、即所法所市場ら、現人公開一内行、返事安尿管理祭、先祖修身安全人、法家二老小弁入、極獣悪人優勝物、外役在生集中、恩の証言追武権、大無限上昇が、本次元区妙武教、連民全幕本部人、新種教書返事集、戦略本願愚悪税、県内障子人伝芸、ケチ議場衣装師、即入弱上無意楽、一新人異能入、愚境大事修士と、上
債無縁極上悪暗道俗自主不動心有意化心しこそ
ナモアミランブナモアミランブナモアミランブナモアミランブナモアミランブナモアミランブナモアミランブナモアミランブナモアミランブナモアミランブナモアミランブナモアミグーシーコーのゆえなればいいさいのごけものぞこりぬひきょうえをきみょうせよなもあみらんぶなもあみらんぶなもあみらんぶなもあみらんぶなぶこうせうえうさいだいいちこうえんのぶとなずけたりさんずのこくはんひらくなりだいおぐうをきみょうせよがんにしくどうく Now we'll have the recitation of the golden chain. I am a link in Amida's golden chain of love that stretches around the world. I will keep my link bright and strong. I will be kind and gentle to every living thing and protect all who are weaker than myself. I will think pure and beautiful thoughts, say pure and beautiful words, and do pure and beautiful deeds. May every link in Amida's golden chain of love be bright and strong, and may we all attain perfect peace. Namu Amida Utsu. 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 Okay. Uh, now we'll have our first Godfather. Country roads. <clears throat> Almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountains, Shenandoah River. Life is older, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, growing like a breeze. Country road, take me home to the place I belong. West Virginia, mountain mama, 
San Mateo Buddhist Temple, Reverend Henry Adams. I invite you to gasho while we hear these words of Shinran Choni. Suppose there are parents with seven children. When there is sickness among the seven children, although the father and mother are concerned equally with all of them, nevertheless their hearts lean wholly toward the sick child. Great King, it is like this with the Tathagata. It is not that there is no equality among all sentient beings, but his heart leans wholly toward the person who has committed evil. Hello, I'm Reverend Henry Adams. I am the resident minister of the San Mateo Buddhist Temple, as well as the supervising minister of the Buddhist Church of San Francisco. I'm most honored to be able to join you, uh, the members of the Sacramento Buddhist Church, the Sacramento Betsuin, in observing this Hongko service, which for us Jodo Shinshu Buddhists is perhaps the most uh, significant and profound of all the services throughout our annual calendar of major services. So I want to begin by just talking a little bit about Hoonko, what Hoonko is all about. And to help me with that, I'm joined by a very special person here. Does this look familiar to you? Do you know who this is? Right? Did anyone say Shinnan Shonin? Right? This is Shinnan Shonin. How do we recognize him? Right? We recognize him because he has this very beautiful large hat and he's holding a staff, right? He's also holding a nenju, just like me, and perhaps you're also holding your nenju there wherever you're watching this service, whether it's at your home or uh, at another uh, safe location, as unfortunately we're not able to gather here uh, in our temples in person. But, so we have these statues of Shinran Shonin, perhaps we have a picture of them in our house, and he's depicted so often in this way. Do you know why he's dressed like this? Do you know what he's doing when he's wearing his big hat and he's holding his staff? He's on a journey, right? He was a traveler. He was a person who traveled all over Japan, sharing the Nembutsu teaching. 
he had many journeys and he traveled not just with himself but he often traveled with his family as well and so when we go on a trip right we want to be prepared we want to be ready for our trip and so Shindan Shonin he wears this nice big hat what do you think that's for right? protects him right protects him from the rain if it's rainy out or if it's snowing it keeps the snow from piling up on his head it shades him from the sun on a hot sunny day right he has the staff right which keeps him safe keeps him from falling and tripping as he's walking up and down all of those mountains in japan right he has the nembutsu the nenju rather which reminds us that he kept his mind always on the Buddha, that Shinran Shoni knew that he was always protected by the wisdom and compassion of the Buddha. Right? So these days, we're not able to travel as much as we used to. We're not able to take the long trips that we might be preparing for normally this weekend. Just before Thanksgiving, we might be thinking about going to visit some relatives in another part of the state, or even out of state, or even maybe traveling overseas. But this year, most of us are staying safe at home, right? But when we do travel, it's a little bit different, isn't it? What are the things that you have to keep safe? I want to show you some of the things that I have with me in my car whenever I go out for a trip. First, important thing I have, right? I have my face mask. I bet you have one of these too, right? For when you go out of your house. Another thing that I keep in my car, is Lysol wipes, right? Sanitizing wipes. I wipe things off. You know, if I get something from the store, I'll wipe it off before I bring it in the house. Um, I also have hand sanitizer I use to wipe my hands in the car. I even have latex gloves. Sometimes if I'm going to be handling a lot of things, if I'm going out to do a service, I might put on these latex gloves while I'm setting things up to make sure that no germs get on my hands, right? So these are all things we do these days to try to keep safe, to keep safe, right? When you do these things, do you think about protecting yourself, keeping yourself from getting sick? Or are you thinking about how you might be careful not to share any germs you might have with others? So when we think about this whole Onko service, it's a service when we remember Shinran Shonin. We think about Shinran Shonin's way of living, the example of his life. Ho Onko is our memorial service for Shinran Shonin. We're recognizing the day that he passed over to the other shore when he realized his birth in the Pure Land. It's a very important service because Shinran Shonin is our guide. He shows us our path to realizing birth in the Pure Land. And Ho Onko is the day that he realized his own birth in the Pure Land. Right? It's the day that Shinran Shonin fulfilled his life guided by the Buddha's teachings. So what kind of life did he live? How did Shinran live? What was he like when he was on these journeys? He was traveling with his hat and his staff. He was often traveling with his family. We have some wonderful records that show us how Shinran Shonin's life embodied these teachings of the Buddha, this wisdom that I shared at the start of my talk. And one of these precious records we have of Shinran's life is from a letter that was written by his wife, Eshini. And she describes how on one occasion while they were traveling, Shinran Shonin suddenly became very ill, had a fever, right? These days, think about it, if you got a fever, you know, how would you feel? For me, I would be terrified. I'd think, oh no, maybe I have COVID-19, right? I would immediately start thinking about what can I do? You know, I need to go and get tested. I need to go to the doctor. I need to get all the medical care. I'd be thinking about, can I, if I was on a journey, I'd be thinking, oh no, is there a place around here that takes my medical insurance? Is there a place where I can get the medicines that I like to make myself feel comfortable? thinking about myself, if I'm being honest, right? But Shinran Shonin was different. When he got sick on this journey, he immediately started to 
recite the sutras, the three Pure Land sutras, the larger sutra, over and over again. And his wife Eshini describes how he set out to recite this sutra a thousand times for the benefit of all beings. So when Shinran Shonin got sick, he thought about other people. He thought, what can I do for others? And first he thought, the thing that I can do is to recite these words of the Buddha. And he set about reciting these words. And his wife, Eshini, was there with him. And at one point, she heard him say, Oh, okay, that's how it is. And she thought, that was a weird thing to say. So she got closer to him. She thought, are you okay? Are you okay? She was worried. Maybe he was having, delirious and mumbling. And he explained to her that in that moment, he had sawn into himself and realized that it's not what he was doing for others, but that the, what the Buddha had done for him. He was always embraced. Nothing more was needed but Namo Amidabutsu. And so he had this deep concern for others, and he realized that the way to fulfill that was to receive the wisdom of the Buddha's teachings, that only Namo Amidabutsu was necessary, only opening up his mind and his heart to the wisdom and compassion was all that was needed in that moment. And then, after that, he said that his fever broke. And what did he do after that? He put on his hat, got his staff, and he carried on on his journey. And in his life after that time, he continued to share the Nembutsu. He continued to travel and share these teachings. Because in that moment, he had received great peace of mind from Amida Buddha, great peace of mind in the Nembutsu. Namu Amida Buddha, that's all that I need. And so he shared that message with other people. He showed his care and his concern for others by sharing this teaching. To me, a very important person in this teaching, in this story, is his wife, Eshini. She was such a good listener. She paid attention. She saw his way of living, and she shared that with others. So as we go through life, we can take Shinran Shonin and his wife Eshini as our model. In this time where we're taking care to preserve ourselves, also thinking about what can we do for others, to listen carefully to one another, to understand and appreciate and be by each other's side in our moments of need, and to receive this peace of mind from the Buddha in these words, Namu Amidabutsu, and to share that peace of mind with others. This is why we celebrate this whole Ko service. It's a sad time when Shinran Shonin passed over to the other shore when he died. It's a joyful time for he, we say he realized birth in the pure land of Amida Buddha. He fulfilled his life in the Nembutsu. And so Hong Ko is a special time and I'm truly honored to be able to spend this time with you today in this virtual format. And I hope that there'll be a time in the future when we can gather together in person to reflect upon Shinran Shonin and to celebrate this Nembutsu teaching that he shares with us. So at this time, I will uh, thank you again and conclude my talk by inviting you to join me in Gashō. Namu Amida Butsu, Namu Amida Butsu, Namu Amida Butsu, Namanda Butsu, Namanda Butsu, Namanda Butsu, Namanda Butsu. Thank you, Reverend Adams, for that wonderful Hong Kong message. We'll now conclude the service with the singing of Ondok San. <laughs>
If you could all please join me in Gashon for closing meditation. I have collected true words to aid others in their practice for attaining birth in order that the process be made continuous, without end and without interruption, by which those who have been born first guide those who come later, and those who are born later join those who were born before. This is so the boundless ocean of birth and death be exhausted. Know, therefore, that the monks and lay people of the last age should reverently entrust themselves to this teaching. Nam Wami Dautza. Nam Wami Dautza. Nam Wami Dautza. Nam Wami Dautza. Thank you, everyone. That will conclude our Ho'onko service for this year. Um, we will be off next week for uh, the Thanksgiving weekend. Please, everyone, stay safe and uh, take care of each other.